one. So today we're going to demonstrate how to make a planter with a big, large rim where I'm just going to fold it over and it's going to create a lot of volume. Okay, so we're going to take this. All right. And we're just going to do a little bit of wheel wedging. All right. I'm not making a super big planter, but big enough. All right, I'll probably do this one more time. And this will probably be about the width of it is what you're seeing on that base. We're gonna go like this. Okay, so now we're gonna just throw this like a typical cylinder shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it down. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space on the bottom. Um, nothing that I wanna trim, so. But I will want to put a hole in it since it is going to be a flower pot. And I do want to make sure that this is nice and flat at the bottom. Okay, we don't want any water developing down there. Okay, so we're just going to go like that. And now I'm going to just bring this guy up. Right, just a little bit on the pull. All right. Here's our first pull. And I'll probably just clean this up. I always like to get rid of all this excess that's down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more big pull. Okay, again, I'm locking my hands together. All right. I don't remember that shape, but this is this is a good starting point, sort of this cylinder shape. I want to get this weight out. Nobody likes heavy stuff on the bottom, so we're just going to be very, we're going to bring that weight up, and that's probably going to be pretty good. All right. So now it's a little thick at the top, so I'm going to pinch this down just a little bit and bring it up. All right. And now we're going to just get the shape. We're going to shape it a little bit. Maybe it's a little taller than I want, but that's okay. We'll stretch it out. Again, I'm not worried about that rim yet, but I'm going to get my S12. We're just going to line this up like a lathe. Okay. All right, do that again. get that nice shape we're looking for. So I think I want to stretch this out a little bit. I feel like I got a little air bubble here. Okay. All right. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make that wide rim we're talking about. Maybe I'll blow this out just a little bit. Give it a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you have extra at the top now? Do I have extra at the top? That's the question. A little bit. Just a little bit for this, but you don't need to go crazy with it. There we go. Okay, so here's where all the action happens. Everybody ready? I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. It's sort of the way I would drop a flange down. Okay, drop if you're going to do it that way. So we're going to take it. It's going to happen real quick. I'm going to take this motion and I'm going to go like this. Okay? So we're going to go like this. And we're just going to drop this guy down. All right? Everybody ready? ready. Get in position. Double check. Right? Okay. So here we go. Now we're going to take it and we're going to go like this. All right? And now... We're going to take this and we're going to go like this. Now we can make this whatever side we want. All 
right? But you want to do it at the very end. You want to wait to the very end. And if you notice, I got a little bit of an angle, but that's, that's kind of the shape, right? And if you want to blow this out just a little bit, I think there's a little bit of a blowout. We can do that. But it, it, goes, it goes in like that, right? If I remember correctly, something like this. So we can stretch this out. And we could choke that in like that. Looking good? Okay, thanks. And then we're going to... I'm trying to visualize it in my head. How's that? Are you liking that? That's pretty. Should I stop? Yeah, show me the picture. Flatter? Okay, but we'll do that at the end. You want it a little flatter? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we go like this. Stretch it out a little more. All right, you got that little indentation, so we can do that using this. Okay, so I'm going to just take that. There's your little indentation, right? You see that? All right, now we're going to drop this guy down, just like that, right? And then we're going to just drop this down, and then we're going to need to stop because we're going to go horizontal. So there you have it. Does that work? Thank you. Thank you very much.